if you want to learn how I made this uh, beef stew it's not really beef stew everyone <laughs> with corn and green beans just keep on watching till the end all the ingredients for this uh, recipe is going to be listed down in the description below keep on watching enjoy welcome back to our channel in today's video everyone I'm gonna be cooking some beef and I'm gonna pair this with some corn and green beans and I want to have this like a little bit of gravy so uh, the ingredients I have few ingredients that I'm gonna be using but most of this are probably already at your house so uh, let's get started but before we go any farther everyone if you're new to our channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below I share recipe workout routines but I'm more focused on recipe now and uh, if you're returning subscribers thank you so much for joining here with me today so this is another recipe that you can cook for your family or do as your meal prep so let's get started all right everyone here are the ingredients that I'm gonna be using so in here I have six tablespoons of olive oil you can use any oil you want but I'm I like using the olive oil so I'm gonna split this in half I'm gonna uh, use some to the beef and then my green beans and then I'm gonna season my beef with some ginger I love the I love using ginger everyone it's really it added a really good flavor and then I'm gonna be using red onions to this I just chop this in this size right here or in this size right here you can slice them if you want but I want this to be to match with my beef and I'm gonna pair this beef with some green beans uh, this is a frozen one this is a really delicious uh, Charlotte's love this kind of green beans All right, and then I'm gonna pair with corn. I'm gonna cook the corn with some butter and I just season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. And I will be using some lemon. These are small lemon that I just cut in half. Uh, this is to season my beef. And in here, everyone, is my scallion that I just slice. You can chop this, but I, I love slicing them uh, at this size. You know, you can slice however you want. And in here, everyone, I have about four tablespoons of butter. This is what I'm going to use to cook my corn. And this is my soy sauce, about three, three tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm going to season this with the beef. Then I have my garlic salt. And then I have my garlic to cook my uh, beef and we'll be using flour and then I'm gonna dilute this or mix this with uh, two tablespoons of water that way I, I want that thickness of the sauce and then I have one cup of water and in here everyone this is I use the beef stew you can use any beef you want but this is all I have the beef stew and uh, I'm gonna cook this until it's tender so I didn't marinate this with anything but if you want to marinate it you can marinate this that way uh, it gives more flavor so so those are the ingredients that we so these are the ingredients that uh, I'm gonna be using everyone and we're also gonna need salt and black pepper to taste to season our green beans corn and our beef so let's get started on cooking everyone 
So in here everyone, I'm gonna add my uh, oil. This is for the green beans. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil. That's good right there. I'm just eyeballing everything. And I'm gonna let the oil get hot and then I will add my onions and then uh, let it saute. Alright everyone, my oil is ready so I'm gonna go ahead and add my onions. I'm not gonna add a lot, just a little. Probably just a fourth cup. That way, uh, just enough to season the green beans. So this is the brand that I'm using everyone. It's the Italian green beans. And this is frozen. And I'm going to use the whole bag. Uh, this is one pound, about 28 ounce. So about two cups really. It just didn't fit a lot in there. So I'm going to let this out there for about two minutes and I'll be back. Alright everyone, I'm going to go ahead and add my green beans. Let's mix this well. This won't take long to cook everyone. And you can season this with a little bit of soy sauce. You know, you can add extra soy sauce on this. Alright, so now I'm going to season this with garlic salt and black pepper. This is the garlic salt I'm using. Then just a touch of soy sauce. This is from, a, you know, it's just optional. You don't have to add it. Then I'm going to season it with black pepper. Now let's just mix this and I'm going to transfer this in a different on the other side of the stove that way I'll continue cooking. I'm going to let this cook for about 10 minutes on medium. You can add a little bit a touch of water later on if it needs more water. So I'm going to transfer this on a different side of the stove that way I'll continue cooking and I'll be back. So in here everyone, I'm going to add my uh, 4 tablespoons of butter and I'm going to let that melt, that way I can add my corn. So on the corn everyone, I'm just going to season it with salt and black pepper and that's about it. And I might add like a little bit of water, about 2 tablespoons of water if it's needed. Alright everyone, my butter is melted so I'm going to go ahead and add my corn. Oops. Hold on everyone. So let's just mix this and I'm gonna season this with some uh, salt and pepper. Not a lot of salt. Not a lot of pepper either. Alright everyone, I'm just going to mix this until all the ingredients are combined and then I'm going to transfer this in a different, on a different side of my stove. I'm going to add just a little bit of water. So I have about a teaspoon of water, I mean a tablespoon. And then I'm going to cover this and bring this to boil on medium and I'll be back. Alright everyone, on this kitted right here, I'm going to add the rest of my oil. And I'm going to let this hot and then add my onions, ginger, and garlic. 
Alright everyone, I'm gonna add my onions. Then I'm gonna add my ginger. Then I'm gonna add my garlic. Just be careful, don't burn it. Alright everyone, I'm gonna let this saute for about two to three minutes and I'll be back. Alright everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and add my beef. Alright, now let's add our garlic salt. And let's add our soy sauce. And let's just mix this. So I'm going to bring this to simmer. And I'm going to cook this for 20 to 25 minutes until the beef is tender. Because I want this to be really tender that when you bite it, it just melts in your mouth. So, I'm going to put the cover back and I'll be back. Alright everyone, my corn is done and I let this cook for 10 minutes. So, now I'm just going to turn off the heat and put this aside. And I'm going to leave it in this uh, pot, that way it stay warm. So everyone, the green beans is done. I cooked this for 10 minutes in uh, medium heat. So, now I'm just going to put this aside and leave this in this pot. So everyone, the beef has been simmering for a while. I started with 20 minutes, but the beef wasn't really tender, so I added more time. So uh, halfway through, uh, I decided to put this on 50 minutes. So halfway through, uh, not even halfway, I decided to add few of the lemon. So you know, just make sure when you boil your um, beef, you, you taste it, and if it's tender, you can start adding the rest of the ingredients. But since it wasn't tender enough yet, I decided to uh, add more time. So right now everyone, we're gonna go ahead and add some lemon to this. The lemon gives this uh, beef a really good flavor everyone. So I'm just uh, squeezing the lemon using my hands. You can use your strainer, but I really didn't want to mix with my strainer, so I just used my hand. So now let's give this a mix. And after mixing this everyone, we're going to continue cooking this. And if you think you need more water, you can add more water everyone. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of salt. Because when I tasted the sauce everyone, it needed just a touch of salt. So just be careful adding salt, that way it's not going to be salty. Now we're going to add some black pepper as well. You can add as little or as much uh, black pepper that you need. So the black pepper will give this a little bit of uh, kind of you know, spiciness, but not really, not, not that much. If you add just a little bit of black pepper, it is perfect. Alright everyone, let's go ahead and add our water. But we are not going to add all the water. We're going to leave about uh, a tablespoon or two tablespoon of water so we can use it to mix with our flour so remember the flour is to thicken the sauce all right everyone my beef is tender i cooked this for 50 minutes because i started with 20 minutes and it was still hard so i just cooked this to 50 minutes that way it's tender so now i'm gonna add my flour and my green my uh, green onions so when I add the water everyone, I didn't use all the water, I left some. So I'm going to pour my flour here. So I'm going to add my flour. I'm just going to mix this. This is just to thicken the sauce. Alright. So now I'm just going to pour it. It's really, uh, the sauce is really thick everyone. 
So now let's just get the rest of the sauce, I mean the flour. You can use cornstarch, but I'm out of cornstarch. So just mix this well. The way the sauce is thickened, so we want like a gravy here. Even though I'm partnering this with corn, it still have to have a little bit uh, taste of gravy. Now let's put our green onions just to add color you can garnish this with some uh, parsley or cilantro so and then I'm gonna squeeze the rest of the lemon earlier I add to the lemon halfway through cooking so now I'm gonna add the rest of it Just mix this the way it's well incorporated. All right, and that's how it looks, everyone. So now I'm gonna turn up my heat, and I'm gonna start plating this because I'm hungry, and then I'll be back. All right, everyone. I'm gonna do my plating first. I'm gonna add some green beans. Alright, now I'm going to add my corn. Alright everyone, now I'm going to add beef. So, just going to add a few. Because that's all I can eat. And this is how my plate look everyone. So I have corn and green beans and just... Uh, some of the meat so i hope that you enjoyed this recipe everyone if you try this recipe please let me know and remember to adjust the taste according to i mean to adjust the salt or you know add more salt according to your taste because this is really delicious everyone the gravy is just perfect so thank you for watching everyone i will see you all again on my next video bye bye everyone